making games is like a weird thing to describe, I think, because it's a very personal thing. Oh, all developers say this, but like as a coder, like we're being quite selfish, I think, by trying to make something that we really enjoy making. I think I didn't anticipate people being really into it. I didn't anticipate it resonating and stuff. No Man's Sky definitely seems to be a bit more visible than Joe Danger the day after VGX, and especially when we flooded. We were never called Joe Danger developers. We were like, No Man's Sky developers flooded and all that kind of thing. Three years of making Joe Danger was like wiped out that day kind of thing. And it felt really weird. I didn't know how to feel about it because I'm like, no Man's Sky isn't out, like I haven't done anything yet as far as you guys are concerned. Like when you play it and if it's good and you like it, then call us No Man's Sky developers. Like we are Jet Angel developers, that's the thing we've done so far. With No Man's Sky, there is a pressure to an extent that is like, this needs to be right. And I've just got this one opportunity. As people seem to be excited about it, I just feel that more like I have to we have to not mess this up, you know, but it also, it's kind of nice, you know, that does amp up your, when something does go right, you're like, oh, people are going to love this, you know, this, I'd take that any day over working on a game that people don't know about or people aren't excited about or whatever. I don't read any of the press and I can't watch myself on camera, I don't read comments and things generally. The rest of the team does, you know, and gets a real kick out of it actually. And they really enjoy giving me a hard time. So if there's a new video that goes up, they will pick like frames where my face is doing a really stupid thing. And then they'll just post those around or have them as wallpaper and things. So yeah, <laughs> I do eventually get to see it. It's this double-edged sword, right? I wouldn't have it any other way, but of course, there's pressure on the team to make sure that they get it right. Maybe we're fooling ourselves, but like between VGX and E3, we kind of felt like people had kind of forgotten about the game a little bit. And then E3 was a big deal for the game. It was massive for us. Thank you. Feeling a lot of emotions right now. I personally find going on stage at E3 like the hardest thing I've ever done. That's something that I would have had in a nightmare before. I almost don't think you're normal if you enjoy that, you know? There's a whole commercial side to the industry that we've never really understood. And never really kind of done that well or whatever. We haven't asked anyone for funding. We haven't gone on Kickstarter. We haven't done anything like that, you know? Generally, we just kind of get on and make the game. And maybe we should be like, I don't know, we should be doing pre-orders or something like that, I don't know, but we don't, we just don't think about that, you know. Ultimately people bought Joe Danger and whether they liked it or not, they weren't just buying the game, that was an investment in us. There's about 11 at Hello Games now, not all of us are working on No Man's Sky, but we're getting close to that. There's a certain size of team that I get a real kick out of working with, and that's about the size we are now. But I'm kind of convinced that you don't need loads of people to do things. That actually the constraints of having a small number are quite good actually and quite healthy sometimes. I worry about like disappointing people, you know. We are going to deliver on everything that we said, you know. I hope that's certainly the plan, but the interest around the game some people might expect things that aren't in the game, you know, that aren't in any game or, you know, whatever, because the game sounds quite ambitious, so they might presume there are other things that sometimes can't even possibly exist. And so sometimes you worry about that, about the game coming out and disappointing those people, you know, or something like that. The concept of the game is quite cool, I think, but the reality, there are moments where you get lost or things unexpected happen. and. Sometimes that's brilliant and sometimes you think, oh, you know, I, I'm enjoying it, but I don't know if other people will, I don't know if this is what people are into or whatever. Everything about the game is a little bit different, so you actually never feel, I certainly never feel comfortable and confident. I'm never like, oh, people are going to love this, you know, you're like, oh, 
what about this? And I hope they like that. And, you know, I hope this works or whatever. I grew up like, I actually enjoyed the process of being really into a game before it came out, you know, and being on all the forums and stuff like that. And I think back to some incredibly cringy and cheesy things I probably said before the release of Quake on some like BBS board somewhere or something like that. But you know, I actually enjoy that process. It's a healthy process. And if we are that for anyone, then that's pretty cool, actually. And I hope we, I hope we can live up to it a little bit. I don't want to say to anyone like, you know, you need to manage your expectations. Don't expect this or this or this. Like I should, but in some ways, their expectations kind of fire me up a bit. You kind of think, yeah, to like deliver on that and do something cool and do something interesting. So.